It is Friday, yes, and it's Full Circle Day, usually here on 100 Huntley Street. Cheryl, one of your sofa sisters, Cheryl, Cheryl Weber uh, has been involved in, for many years here at Crossroads. You've been leading our, our You're team. You're not that of, old, though. <laughs> no, I started here when I was like five. Really, really little. <laughs> you have been leading our, our team of, of field right. reporters for 100 Huntley Street, doing a, a great job. But now there's going to be a shift because we're shifting something. Full Circle is going to be going daily, uh, Lord willing, starting in the new year early in the new year and uh, Cheryl's going to be the producer with Anne as full, on Full Circle as well as one of the regulars on the couch. You know it's so exciting. I've had a love for Full Circle for the five years and can yes. you believe it? Five years we've been on air and uh, I've just absolutely loved um, being on the show and being part of it and so now the chance to develop it five mm. days a week like five more times mm. people can see Full Circle and we have so many exciting things planned I can't even tell you. Because you know, it's a big surprise. We got yeah. <laughs> <laughs> there's a lot to come. We we spent the day with a lot of our sofa sisters from Edmonton last Saturday, and a lot of them were so excited to hear that we're going to be coming five days a week on CTS. And Cheryl, I am so happy that you've agreed to take on the producer role here, and you'll still be on the couch. You'll still be a regular on the program, but it's there's a lot of good stuff to come. And I think you brought with you kind of a, a clip of just an overview of what we're all about. Some of our favorite moments. We have a clip. Coming Coming right up now. All right. We found out what I thought would have been impossible that I had gotten pregnant. And that's when my world really crashed in. You know, when I told all about the adultery, I couldn't face my my uh, my future. But you know, with with the with this new news, I didn't think I could face my life. Would I be able to love this boy as my own, or would he be a constant reminder of the betrayal, of the rejection, of the adultery, of all of those things? Every time I walked in that room, would it be you know, oh, you know, I I don't have this love. And this morning, he says, Bob, are you going to participate with this fatherless generation? or will you allow the Father to love through you? We're good at guilt. Women are so good at guilt. We just hold it close to us. I've gone through a season, and I, I'm sure it's part of midlife, where you have a little more time to reflect and regret. I mean, there are mornings I wake up just thinking about situations and loved ones and thinking, why didn't I do this? And it can oh, be very all-consuming. I know it, but you really can't change that. And one of the lovely things about God is He's always looking forward. He talks about where we're going, not where we've been. I was suicidal, mentally ill, demon-possessed. I was a drug addict, alcoholic, rejected, broken, discouraged human being. And I took the longest walk of my life when they said, if you want to know a man named Jesus, and I said, I've known them all, I'm going. And I got up and walked down that aisle. And the, but when I hit the altar, I stood there and it was amazing. I can't even explain it. This power shot through my body and I'd felt power from the devil, but never like this. And I just fell on the floor. I mean, I just fell, I crumbled. And I heard something say to me, mm. my, K Carol Kanaki, my name is Jesus Christ. And if you're looking for love, you found it. Mm -hmm. I love you. You know, there, there are moments of lots of fun on the couch and they were there with the littles, but th there's also those deep, uh, mm -hmm. powerful moments when, when you get to the heart of the guests and the interview and it, it, it just is tremendous and it makes a, a huge difference in lives and people respond on our prayer lines or right there wherever they are in their home and mm -hmm. they, they say yes to Jesus. That's, mm -hmm. that's really the bottom line is to point people and, and you always say it's, it's all about him, you know, mm -hmm. at the end of the program. Yeah. And it really is. Well, that's what 100 Huntley Street has been about for 33 years, mm -hmm. is just ordinary people telling their real life stories and how extraordinary God intervened and brought change and hope and new life. And Cheryl, that's what Full Circle has been about for five years. And that's not going to change, is it? Not at all. And you know what? The thing that really hit me at the conference this last weekend is that women carry a lot of pain. You know, not just for themselves, for their husbands and their kids and their friends. And we carry that, you know, and there is such a need to just really speak into the heart of a woman. And nothing does that better than full circle. I, I mean, maybe I'm a little biased, but I think that authenticity, that sisterhood, that friendship that happens on the couch, it, it really does create a community um, that's healing and growing together. And so your support of Crossroads, your membership is uh, is going, yes, to help 100 Huntley Street, other productions, but 
full circle, going daily, starting in the new year, and God willing, and, and you're going to be very busy, ladies, <laughs> that's for sure. But some might, might be wondering, well, what about what's going to happen on Fridays on 100 Huntley Street? And you know what? Uh, if you don't get CTS and you can't watch the five day a week, uh, don't worry, on Fridays we're going to make sure you get your taste of uh, full circle. Okay.